Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over a few branding ideas for your Doodly whiteboard videos. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. If you're looking to create a consistent whiteboard video style, using your brand's colors can help you create a cohesive look for all of your videos and make a great impression on your viewers. Today we'll use Doodly as our brand and we're going to grab its colors from its website. We're going to need to sample the colors to get their hex codes and then we'll create a stock background that we can use and maybe a few color bars as well. To get started, we'll need to head over to Doodly's website and take a look at their color scheme. So here we are, and you'll see that there are a couple different colors. We've got this nice light blue, a darker shade of blue, and then this neon green. So how are we going to get those exact colors into Doodly? Well, there's a couple different ways that you can sample hex codes. Today, we are going to use a free Chrome extension. Now, I already have it installed. It's called Eyedropper, and all you need to do is click this Pick Color from Web Page button, and you get a little eyedropper tool, and now you just click the color that you'd like. And you'll see that just sampled it here. If I click it, there's my hex code, okay? So you might want to write that down, 329ED7. And let's pick another one. So click Pick Color. And now we're going to go over here and we're going to sample that color. And so now we've got this darker blue and that's 20729D. And let's get this green. So pick color from web page, green. And that's BOF959. So we have all the information that we need to use these colors. You'll see that I already did some branding here. If I click the icon, you'll see I had already entered this number. Well, let's say we want it to be that neon green. So how do we change that? First, let's go back. Okay, BOF959. So click the gear icon, click the color swatch right here under hex. B O. F959. That's wrong, so this is probably the number zero, not the letter zero. Correct. Okay. Apply. Boom! Now I have this highlight color. So that's how you're going to change your individual elements. I'm going to hit Control Z because I like that light blue. Now, what about our back? Background. I would like to simulate this little background and I just want a small bar down at the bottom of all of my scenes that have this dark blue and this light blue. So how am I going to create that? Well, I'm going to use Pix today, which is one of the Boomly Cloud products. You can use whichever um, graphics design program that you like. I'm going to click New and I'm going to use a custom image. And I think let's make mine 1920 by 1080 and click create. So this is the same size as our doodly background, okay? And I'm going to click my little shape tool and I'm going to draw a bar and I'm going to go right here, fill color, remember, fill color. So what was my hex code for that dark blue? I'm going to have to go back to Chrome because I didn't write it down. And dark blue is 20729D. And I don't want a stroke color. And that's starting to look pretty good. Use my move tool and position it down at the bottom. Make it a little little larger than I need it, just so that there's no transparency. And that's looking pretty good. So now I want to do another shape. And this time, I want it to be that other color blue. So let's go back over here. The light blue. 329ED7. 
and we're going to do our move. I'm just going to place it over here. Now I want that little slash. So if we go back, it's slashed. Okay, there's a little diagonal. So let's go back over to Pix. So now I'm going to do a square. Okay, so it's this color. And I'm going to rotate it. Probably have it rotated the wrong way. So what I'm trying to do is make this little slash. That's looking pretty good. I think, okay, it's the wrong way and the wrong color. So I'm gonna click on this rectangle once again, shape. So I'm gonna change the color. And now we have it for this side, okay? And I want it to slash like so. And I just need to fine tune the placement a little bit. If you'd like, you can zoom in. Let's select something else. And that looks that looks pretty darn good. Now this is all transparent. I'm just gonna make a big white square, or I should say rectangle. I'm gonna oversize it a little bit so that there's no transparency. And now I wanna change it the color to white. And then I want to put it behind my other things. So. so now I no longer have a transparent background. I have a white background with this bar. Now I still have a little bit of, there's like a pixel too tall here. So let's find this correct one here, this one. Put that down. One pixel, let's see, two pixels. And I think that's a little bit cleaner. And I like that, that's exactly what I had in mind. So now I wanna export this and I'm gonna save it. Let's go back into Doodly. So here we are. Now I wanna go into settings. And over here, background style. Here's our default one, just regular white. Well, we want a custom one. And no, I don't want this custom color. I want a custom image. And I'm gonna browse for the file that I just created. Here it is. And now I want to make it full size, like so. And apply. And here we have this beautiful bar that we created in our doodly colors. And what's neat is it appears on all of my scenes. Even if I create a new scene, here it is. So that is really cool. I may or may not want my scene to go into the bar. I think it's kind of neat to have some overlap, so I like that fine. Make sure this one is not And let's bring her a little bit into the bar. Now, another thing you could do is create individual rectangles and use them as title bars. So I'm going back into Pix and I'm going to delete the white and then I'm going to move these guys up. So I want to select all of them. So I've selected them all together. And now I'm going to move them up. Okay, so now they're up here in the middle. I will delete some of this stuff in a little bit, but for now I want to make this fatter and this fatter. And then this needs to be a little bit more dramatic. And I'm starting to like this for our title bar. Now, let's take the crop tool we're just going to crop this like so, hit apply, and I now have a nice little title bar. So let's go ahead and export that, and we're just going to call this title bar. We go into doodly, go to props, 
blue plus sign, browse for our file, title bar, open, and now we could do something like so. I'm going to move that back. And that's how you can add a little title bar to your scene. Now that we have some branding elements, let's just go ahead and finish up this video. Remember we had that green highlight color? This one over here? Let's just take a peek at its code. It's BOF959. Let's change this one. And that's looking good. We're going to do the same here. And then we could make this that dark blue color. So that was dark blue 207-29D. Let's have our bar fade on. I just clicked the pencil icon and now I'm just going to choose fade, save and return. And that'll just fade on nicely. Okay, so I have branded this video using some of Doodly's colors. Let's take a quick look and we'll be done. So we just have some people here. We could change their color outlines as well if we wanted. You notice the background stays static. It's really neat having a background like that. So watch as it swipes away. See? Then that comes on faded. And then we've got our homework this due Friday. And here's what you need to do. And boom! There you have it. Those are some ideas that you can use to brand your videos for yourself or for your clients. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.